I'm so excited to be cooking today with Joan Nathan, who is a legend of Jewish cooking. She's been called the Julia Child of Jewish cooking. And today she is going to teach us the um, vegan matzo ball recipe that she invented, which is very exciting. So thank you so much. I'm so excited to meet you also. Well, me too. <laughs> I'm just going to put all the dry ingredients in first and then about two teaspoons. I always use my fingers. I know I shouldn't, but about two teaspoons of um, better. salt. You need a lot of salt for this. And then a fourth of a cup of potato starch. That's what I used. How many times did you try this before you got it right? A few times. <laughs> I'll just cut up cilantro, dill, parsley, and I'll dice it and put it in into the mix. So now, okay. Natalie, this, can you see this? This is chickpea. I've taken a can of chickpeas. And then they, they soak. And then what I do is the next day, I put them in water and I, I boil them for about 20 minutes. And then you've got this water that it's really interesting. I was thinking about this just today. The, the water is used like egg yolks and eggs are used in, in vegetarian cooking, vegan cooking. But when you think about it, the, probably the first matzo balls ever were like the, the matzo balls that the um, Iranians use. Mm -hmm. uh, I forget their name right now, but anyway, a, a gunti or something like that. And they're made out of chickpeas, chickpea flour. Yeah. So, and there's no eggs in them at all. So mm -hmm. this is really, we're going way, way back. And so I can just, you said one cup? To start so on one cup and when you put it in the refrigerator when I'll take I put some in the refrigerator just you know because um, we'll see if it needs more you see you can already tell it's going to need more so I figure it's about one and a half cups that it needs and it doesn't matter if you mix it with regular water it's still going to be okay okay so I'm gonna put my, are you gonna put yours in your refrigerator? I am. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna start the soup in the meanwhile. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna take four cups of the vegetable stock, and then I'm gonna take four cups of water. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is put in the um, onions, the leeks, the celery, the carrots. Kids like carrots. I figured yours are going to be for your kids. I hope they're going to have it for dinner tonight. Oh, oh, they will. They love it. My my little girl calls them pizza balls. She says, "Mom, you're really having pizza balls." So, do you cook at home? I do. I love to cook. My, my husband also loves to cook. And um, um, yeah, and I keep trying to learn, especially when it's my favorite things that I miss as a vegan. Um, you know, I've been going home for the holidays every year, of course, and to miss out on matzo ball soup, among other things, is, is always, um, you know, feels a little bit of a sacrifice. So it's pretty exciting to have a have a recipe for it right. so how did you become a vegan um i've been vegetarian since i was really young um i i had I, I had a friend when i was nine years old her family was vegetarian and so i kind of learned that it was a possibility for them and then when i was about 30 i i then read a book about animal farming and the impact on the environment and that really um 
that really even furthered my my commitment to eating um, eating plant based. It's it's a it's a balance, of course, between pleasure, joy, necessity, and um, and awareness of of impact of what we eat. The beauty about this is because you've got some vegetarian vegetable broth in there, yeah. it's going to taste really good. And so you don't add any like salt or pepper or anything right now? Uh, not right now. I'll do it later and I'll, I'll see I have all these herbs. I even have basil for my garden, cilantro, um, parsley, dill. And I thought I would just add it all at the end. Now I'm going to let this work and I'm going to take out a plate. And then I'm going to also take out my matzo balls so we can form them while we're waiting. Now, let's say that we, we really want to cook this about 20 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is dip my hands in cold, icy water. And then a, about this big, what, a little bit bigger than a walnut, do you think? Actually, this is very relaxing. It is. It's very fun to be making. <laughs> and I'm just going to put them in. Should we both taste it? I don't know. Is yours, do you think yours are done or not? I mean, I'm going to go for it. I'm pretty sure they're done. Um, mm -hmm. right. Yummy. Does mm -hmm. it taste okay? I do is perfect. I'm so happy. Thank oh, you. I'm so happy. It's a pleasure meeting you. It is so fun. And thank you. What like there's nothing more um like joy bringing than a good matzo ball soup. So <laughs>